All right, hey, if you have a curvature in your spine, a scoliosis or a curvature, that we give you one of these, two things you wanna do. One, watch my other video on rolling out your spine on your back. So you wanna loosen it up, lubricate it, break up scar tissue, get mobility moving. So as you, as you roll those spinal joints and muscles, you'll break up tension and you'll get mobility. Second, we have you lying on one side, either your right or left, never both. So if my curve goes to the right, if I have a curve going this way, what you wanna do is you wanna lay over in the middle part of your, your rib cage, underneath your armpit, and you'll wanna place a pillow so your head is comfortable, but you wanna lay sideways so we're stretching that curve we're pushing it back to the midline. And you wanna start with one to two minutes, work your way up to about 10 or 15 minutes. It is intense, it does get easier as time goes on if you do it every day. If you do it intermittent, it's always gonna be tender and sore. Again, if, it's on my, if I have a curve on my left side, we're gonna start pushing it back to the center your body wants to be level this way. Again, I'll have a pillow and I'll just arc my rib cage. So now instead of curving to the left, we're starting to push it back to the center or back to the midline. Same with the right side, back to the midline. It's, you have to be consistent and you have to be um, willing to just work through some of the stress until it gets better. It will provide movement. It will stop the curvature from accelerating and getting worse, which the movement and, and alignment will keep it from breaking down, which then will open up nerves to allow you to keep healing so you don't age and break down over time.